including Tyler Ennis and Chris Joseph, O'Shea Brissett, among others. Good luck. Yes. Diakite with the finish. Back inside, Huff with a left hand and two. Beautiful feel from Diakite. The matchup zone that this orange team employs. It's not very fun to try and figure it out on the fly in this matchup. Bolajai with the give down the lane. The freshman, Gurrier, and another misfire in close. And transition now. See if Syracuse wants to push the tempo a little bit. Carry around the back. Slicing in and rejected with authority by the big fella. Diakite with his second block of the second half. Try to play fast and see if they can get Virginia to get out of their comfort zone. Pick and pop. Now Diakite, the flush. Get the three, then he puts it on the floor and puts himself in the highlights. Virginia with the seven. Just has a nose for the basketball, knows how to be in the right place at the right time. Kihei Clark. Diakite, the follow. Good look, though. You like that look if you're Virginia. Clark trying to jump Matt Lewis, who is swatted by Diakite. And feed it into Huff on the turnaround. Diakite is there. Triple team, but he scores nonetheless. That was a fabulous rebound. Yes, I believe they refer to it as. Morcel has come into the game for Virginia. This is Diakite. <laughs> Capable hands of Kihei Clark. The Akita, yes! Extending the range! Needs all scorers with those eight. And Anthony Lamb closing out short, not recognizing Mamdi Diakite has more than enough. Point lead for the Cavaliers. The Akita! rebounding and I felt like that would be one of the keys for Virginia coming into this game is getting more opportunities. The Akite! A season high 24 points after scoring 23 Saturday at St. John's and hitting the winning bucket. The Akite spinning and scoring. Well Virginia does get 20 seconds on the shot clock to go back to offense. What a great take. Count the bucket and the foul. Mamadi Diakite. Defensively can do against Mamadi Diakite as he attacks and you see five blue jerseys. Diakite on the defensive end, the steal and the slam. Second foul. Be sure to let Mamadi know after the game, I'm going to give him a strong seven on this dunk just because two and five on his jersey add up to seven. I'll give him that. Another Maine only had four made baskets in the first half. They've already had two. Taken away. Clark leaves it. The flush! Mamadi Diakite! Doing what he does best, getting his hand in the passing lane and making plays for his teammates. Finding See, Clark getting the ball back out there. They're not good there. Oh, that's nice. Diakite in the post for two. I'm telling you, that's where you got to go. Hey Clark swings it. He keeps a long distance and nothing but net from three-point land. Sets a screen now. Kihei Clark is going to suck that defense with a couple probing dribbles. Brooks leaves him too far. Offensive rebounds and runouts you cannot guard. Diakite with Manaya on him. And that one off the glass and in. Mamadi Diakite has an advantage in size when he's going against Manaya. Just has one on one in the post. Well, Kihei Clark did such a nice job on Bolden there to stay in front of him and make him take that tough shot as the clock was winding down. That was a foul. He was able to get a nice move. He hit a three in the corner, then Kihei Clark hit one from the right wing, and now an opportunity to tie this thing. Nice cut. Over the last six, seven pers uh, possessions, and a terrific job off the screen. Good pass. Great look to you, Kite, the jump. thing he's afraid of is water. I can break that, break that news. <laughs> Great dive and a fantastic pass by Jay Huff underneath the arm of the defender. And that's the way you finish. Beautiful. Coming off 21 points in that loss against South Carolina. Kihei Clark also went from being the third guard to the guard this year. Count it. And the foul for Diakite. With all this time, and there is no double team coming. I think even Diakite was surprised and said, oh, a one-on-one -on -one basketball? 
This is what it is? The ruling was he'd be out indefinitely. It didn't turn out to be all that long. Missed three games and is working his way back to full health. Wick has his shot wiped off the backboard there, calling for goaltending. It stifled Navy's offense. They've gone just two of their last ten from the floor, getting no type of easy looks like that for Diakita. 63-62. And had that regional final against Purdue. Diakite at the game time shot to send it to overtime. This time it's a pass to Key. Fagnoli has seven of the nine points that they scored. Key's leading score for Virginia with nine. Diakite rising and hitting. Down. They've held the eight, I think, below 50 points, and uh, they may be headed to nine. Braxton King style points for Virginia. What impressed you most in that game that they can carry into tonight, Malcolm? Well, I think from an offensive standpoint, that right there, they made some shots, they scored points. It's as simple as that. And on the defensive end, Clark pokes it away to Diakite through traffic, the hoop and the harm. And then right here, the defense. Beautiful individual play, and the Kihei Clark leading the break. Beautiful drop-off pass to D. And maybe got some electricity off of it. Oh, my. Diakite fills it up for three. Of its last 15 Virginia on its first two-game slide in almost, in almost three years, and here we are, tied at 44. Inside to Huff, he has all four for the Cavaliers to start this game. Great feed, and Diakite delivers inside. Five to shoot. What a walk. Diakite, a tough take, muscling it past James Banks. Arges lead of the game for the defending national champs at 10. And another turnover. Undisciplined. Skying the alley-oop. That defense, Braxton Key, sucks in the defense, up, up, and away, Diakite. A.J. Alter. Oh, you got to get Huff over the top. Banks is hugging him. Doesn't matter. They don't go to Hoff. Diakite drills it. Jose Alvarado, great pass. Cole rejected at the rim. Incredible. Diakite with the denial. For a perimeter focused team now, most of their work on the offensive end at least is inside. Yeah, exactly, because of Diakite and Hoff. And it's a really good move by Diakite. 1-2-2-1. One, Diakite lost it as he tried to spin away from Helm. Another turnover. There's seven. But Diakite hustled back to block the shot by Bryce. Helms blocked again by Diakite. Shot clock of factor down to one, blocked away by Saar. And that one fired up, and he's going to hit it. Oh, yeah. Man, when they go cold, they really go cold. Well, the 10 size bend the bright spot. Diakite. It's not what you want. He'll make the shot, shot nonetheless. Key can't connect. Diakite won that one. The hook is good. The trail to Wilkes finds Provide, the lefty. Too long. Wilkes gets a hand on it, but now Diakite to Key is ahead of the field. CC play for the first time since joining the conference nearly 30 years ago. Kopravica. And it's blocked by Diakite. Body's flying. Clark, back to work on the cell. Kie Clark somehow rolled out and Diakite flushed it. Two and a half minutes plus gone by and comes in just a scratch. And Diakite slams it home from point blank range. You know, it's, it's such an important position in the game of college basketball, and especially for Tony Bennett, the point guard, that he has trust in him, and uh, Clark is done. It's Casey Morizel, who they expected a little more from offensively this year. And Diakite got the whistle, and they'll get the bucket. And losses really hurt you with the time between games for coaches. Gets pretty intense, especially when you know you've got to get some wins to get into the tournament field. 
Going to Tensai, found Diakite from the short corner, and he's going to the free throw line. Too much congestion in the post. Brooks went down, nobody doubled. There was no room, and now a lazy pass. Diakite ends up with a basketball, and then the floater, and it goes. Wait, he's made three jumpers now that have been maybe a foot inside the three-point line, a foot or two. Diakite in the post. Yakite with Brooks on. Yakite hangs, hits, and one. Strong enough to make it. Watch on the spin, right? There. He goes right up, knocks Brooks back, and is strong enough to get the end one. This is Virginia's comfort spot offensively. And it's pretty solid. Staying with the bakes as he dances defensively. Yakite! Rolls hard. There's that screen, not played well, no help behind. And Diakite. Everybody says you want to pass that ball around. Yeah, that sounds great. Conventional wisdom is usually reserved for conventional results. Diakite wide open from the block. 50 some 60 shots a game, even on a, on a, on a good one. Giving up on average 53 points a game this year, first in the country. Couture has it wiped away by Diakite. Amadi Diakite, one of the best in the country. He is on the... Diakite wants to back down Cassius Stanley across the lane. The old school skyhook is good. Ralph Sampson had a like that shot. It's sort of static until the shot clock runs down, and that's not the way you can play against either one of these defenses. Diakite for Huff. Well, of course, now Huff has 11 but has not hit one from downtown so far tonight. Well, he's only taken one. Diakite on the reverse. Got his own rebound and makes no mistake. With the... Well, Diakite has really picked up his offensive game after a tough early start. That was a, an impossible shot that he attempted. And Miami just didn't get in good position to rebound. Diakite does a nice job getting himself. Here as we get down towards the end of the regular season with the postseason looming. Dan. Well, you can't worry about how deep that approach is going to take you. You have to worry about possession to possession. Williams, who actually missed the first four games of the season with a foot injury. So the cards look fresh. Now Malik Williams, who sprained that ankle, First, Florida State is not 100%, but outside of that, this is a fresh group. He's denied at the rim. 